All right, FAQ number 84. The question comes up, was John the Baptist Elijah? Elijah reincarnated. There are actually people that will try to use this to prove reincarnation, which is absolutely ridiculous. Matthew chapter 17, uh, verse... Uh, we'll start, I guess we'll just go to verse 10. Matthew 17, verse 10 says, And his disciples asked him, saying... Why then say the scribes that Elias must first come? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias is come already, and they knew him not. But they have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. Now people will take that and they'll say, See, Elias actually went up to heaven and he came back down as John the Baptist. So he was reincarnated. Uh, just with one big problem there, Elias didn't die. <laughs> okay, so how could be, he be reincarnated as John the Baptist? He didn't die. Problem number one. But um, what was Jesus talking about here? Jesus was using a biblical typology. All right, and I'm just going to tell you right now how to solve this whole thing and I'm going to show you the, the proof of that this is true, many, many times throughout the Bible, you will see types given. Okay, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Jesus is likened to a serpent. In type, you know, that thing that happened back there in the Old Testament where there's these serpents and they're biting people and things, and, you know, they're, Moses is like, what should I do about this? And, and the Lord tells him, you know, put this, this pole up and put a serpent on it, and when the people get bit, they look to the serpent and they live. Okay, they don't die from the poison. Well, that is a type of what Jesus Christ would one day do on the cross. If you have sin, you've been bitten by sin, you look to the cross with Jesus Christ on it, and your sins are forgiven. Okay, so there are biblical typologies. Now, what's going on here in Matthew chapter 17 they're saying, you know, the disciples are saying, hey, you know, the prophets are saying that Elias must first come before, you know, uh, Jesus Christ there, the Son of Man, before you can, you know, the kingdom is restored and everything else. And Jesus is saying, yeah, that's, that's very true. And it's interesting because, again, that's another proof for the two witnesses in the time of Jacob's trouble. Moses and Elijah will come back and... You know, before the uh, whole time of Jacob's trouble ends and Jesus Christ comes back and you know sits on his throne in Jerusalem. So Elias is going to come. So, But it's interesting because Jesus here is saying Elias, uh, Elias has come already and they knew him not, but they have done unto him whatsoever they listed. In other words, John the Baptist comes in the spirit of Elijah. He's like a type of Elijah. And Elias is your you know, Greek to English. Hebrew would be Elijah, you know, coming to English. So, um, well, you know, you understand what I'm saying. Elias would be our English word for the Greek word. Elijah is our English word for the Hebrew word. There, say a little bit clear. But the what's going on here is Jesus is saying, hey, John the Baptist came, and he's doing basically what Elijah is going to do, and. They rejected John the Baptist, so there's no way Elijah's going to come at this point in time. But now let me just show you from John the Baptist's own mouth that he was not Elijah. Turn your Bible to John chapter 1, verse 21. Actually, we'll start at verse 19. It says here, And this is the record of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Art thou Elias? And he saith, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. So if anybody comes along and tells you that John the Baptist is actually Elijah, and that he's like the reincarnated Elijah, they don't know what they're talking about. Okay, in type, he was basically there in the spirit of Elijah. Yes, that's true. He came there to, to you know, warn the Jewish people and to, and to preach to them that the kingdom of heaven was at hand. That earthly kingdom is there. Jesus Christ the Messiah, you know, he's, he's the king of the Jews. He's here. The kingdom's being offered to you. Do you want it? And they rejected him. Okay, they killed John the Baptist. And then 
they kill Jesus Christ. So Moses and Elijah coming back is, is put off. And interestingly, though, it is actually, they do show up at one point there in the Mount of Transfiguration. But very interesting. Verse 22, Then said they unto him, Who art thou, that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. So he's quoting Isaiah there. So anybody comes to you and says that the Bible does teach reincarnation because John the Baptist is clearly, clearly Elijah. Uh, just refer him here to John chapter 1, verse 21, where he clearly says, I am not that prophet.